Good day grade 5 students. Welcome to our quarter 2 week 1 for science 5 and our milk our most essential learning competency. Describe the parts of the reproductive system and their functions. Our objective at the end of this module you are expected to describe the parts of reproductive system and their functions. Under what's new, identify the following, whether they belong to male or female reproductive systems. Write it the column below. Let us discuss first the different parts of male reproductive system and their functions. First is the penis. It is the external male organ with a tip called glands. It is covered with foreskin that may be removed during circumcision. Ang glands, ito yung parati ng ari ng lalaki na hinihiwa tuwing siya ay tinutuli. The second one is scrotum. It is a pair of pouch-like sacs that contains the testes. It is also controls the testes temperature because they must be slightly cooler than the body to produce sperm cells. The third one is testes. These are the glands that produce the sperm cells and the male sex hormones called testosterone. The next one is the epididymis. It is a narrow coil tube that stores sperm cells. Next is the urethra. The urethra in males is the passageway of both urine from the urinary bladder and semen from the glands. The fifth one is the seminal vesicles. These are sac-like pouches attached to the vas deferens. It contributes to the semen production, a sugar-rich fluid which pr provides energy for the sperm cell's motility. The sixth one is the vas deferens. It is a long muscular tube that serves as the passageway of the sperm cells released from the testes. It is also connects the testes to the seminal vesicle and the urethra. The next one is the copper's gland. It is also called as bulborethral gland. One of the two pea-sized organs found beneath the prostate gland. It is also responsible for releasing fluid that flushes out the foreign matters and neutralizes the acidic urine in the urethra. Next is prostate gland. It is a gland located between the bladder and the penis. It produces fluid that nourishes and protects the sperm. Let us also discuss the different parts of female reproductive system. The first one is the ovary. It produces egg cells as well as the female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. Female humans have two ovaries. About 70,000 potential egg cells are already present in the ovaries of a female when she is born. However, only about 500 of these eggs will mature. The mature eggs are released one by one every month once the female reaches puberty and until she is about 43 to 55 years old. The mature egg cell leaves the ovary through the fallopian tube. The second one is the fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes lead the egg from the ovary to the uterus. This is also the usual site of fertilization of the egg cell and sperm cell. So, ibig sabihin, dito nagaganap ang pagtatagpo ng egg cell at saka sperm cell. Female humans have two fallopian tubes, each connecting to an ovary to the side of the uterus. The third one is the uterus, also called the womb. The uterus is the hollow muscular organ located at the lower abdomen. It has a soft, smooth inner lining, the uterine or the endometrium. 
This lining becomes thicker as it accumulates blood and nutrients to accommodate the unborn baby as it develops. It is also the site where the fertilized egg is implanted. If the egg cell is not fertilized, together with the uterine lining, it will break down and is discharged during menstruation. The next one is the cervix. It is located at the lower part of the uterus. It is also a narrow opening between the uterus and the vagina. During childbirth, it expands to allow the passage of the baby. The fifth one is vagina, also called the birth canal. The vagina is a hollow muscular tube that extends from the cervix to the vaginal opening called vulva. It expands to let the baby pass during normal delivery. I hope this discussion will help you answer our activity for this module.